in this class we will look uh, we would like to uh, derive a few vector calculus identities using uh, index notation so i mean uh, uh, when i when you say i mean you know that is the gradient operator uh, in the cartesian coordinate it's going to be uh, del by i into del y del x plus j into del by del y plus k del by del z these are all unit vectors okay and if you take the uh, say uh, the components of this so you'll get del by del x del by del y and del by del z these are the components of the gradient operator and uh, uh, okay so i mean in our notation i used to say that you, you can denote your x as x1 and y as uh, x2 and z as x3 right okay x3 and now i mean you, you can then write this as uh, your i mean the, the the components as del by del x1 del by del x2 and del by del x3 okay if you i mean so uh, if you, you can i mean a particular component of this operator so that means del i the ith component of the operator is basically del by del xi or in a compact notation i i write it as del i okay del i means del by del xi that means del 1 is, is equivalent to del by del x1 del 2 means del by uh, okay i mean i can i can write that this del by del x1 or basically del by del x or del 2 which is equivalent to del by del x2 del by del y and del, uh, del 3 which is del by del x3 uh, which is equal to del by del z okay so these are this will be the components okay now i mean so now i'll, I'll use this notation than this okay the component wise okay so now i mean you you know your usual radius vector r which is equal to xi plus yj plus zk or you can write it as x1 uh, whose components will be x1 x2 x3 or you can basically say xi okay so the components of r the radius vector r is denoted by xi where i runs from 1 2 3 okay so now let's uh, let's look at uh, uh, del dot r okay if what is del do, uh, so del dot r is, is a, oh, okay del dot r which is equal to i mean your notation it's going to be del by uh, del x of x plus del by del y of y del by del z z which is equal to all this quantity this will be 1 this is 1 this is 1 so you will get total as 3 okay all right uh, and now i mean in our notation i mean it's going to be del dot r which is equal to uh, del 1 x1 plus del 2 x2 plus del 3 x3 or is basically del i xi so del i xi is uh, okay now before i do, do further what is del x del by del x sorry uh, what is del xi by del xj del x by del xj suppose that uh, i and j are equal uh, that means say i equal to j equal to 1 then you will get del x1 by del x2 say if i j equal to 2 equal to 2 then you will get del by uh, sorry del x sorry del x1 by del x1 and this will be uh, 1 and del x2 by del x2 this is also 1 if when uh, uh, this is equal to 3 i equal to j equal to 3 you will get del x3 by del x3 that is equal, this is equal to 1 so uh, now but if i not equal to j you will get del x uh, del x1 by del x2 or del x by del y that is going to be 0 so del xi by del xj it's actually equal to delta ij okay del x by del xi by uh, del xj which is equal to uh, delta x delta ij all this stuff are lower del x1 x2 del x 
okay so del x i by del x j is nothing but delta i j okay so and in this context here uh, you have del i del, del i x i okay this is actually del by del x i of x i x i so that is equal to uh, uh, you, you know that it is del x i by del, if it is del x i by del x j it will be delta i j so it is nothing but delta i i but we know that delta i i is nothing but 3 okay using i mean delta i i means basically delta 1 1 plus delta 2 2 plus delta 3 3 okay so it is 3 so you you will get del dot r using this notation you will get uh, uh, i mean del i uh, del i x i this is equal to 3 straight away you will get it. Uh, what you need to remember is that del x i with del x j is nothing but delta i j okay all right so uh, your del dot r and now let us look at what is del cross r okay so del cross r and we know that i mean uh, a, some uh, a cross b in the index notation a cross b is a vector so whose ith component is nothing but uh, epsilon i j k a j b k okay and uh, here i mean uh, so here also del cross r is I, mean, I can talk about since it's a vector vector i can always talk about i can i can only talk about its ith component okay so uh, the ith component of that that is going to be equal to epsilon i j k uh, now you have uh, instead of a you have the oper uh, gradient operator whose ith component is nothing but del i you have already see del j whose uh, jth component is going to be del j and then you have the kth component of r that is nothing but x k okay so uh, this will be the now i mean i already know that uh, del j x k i j k and del j x k is nothing but delta j k delta j k and uh, but you know that this object this delta j k is symmetric under the exchange of i and j it is i and j uh, sorry j and k so uh, delta j k so it is under j and k so, sorry j and k and uh, but uh, this uh, this epsilon i j k is anti symmetric under the exchange of Uh, j and k okay so now uh, let's uh, examine a little more uh, carefully so i mean so here you have an object which is uh, uh, symmetric under the exchange of uh, uh, two indices and uh, i mean there is another there is another object uh, which is anti symmetric under the exchange of the same indices okay so let's uh, i'm not worrying about the i right now i'll just look at this suppose you have s i j is a symmetric is symmetric under the exchange of i and j i and j and then I have uh, uh, this is similar so, some a i j which is uh, anti symmetric anti symmetric under the exchange of i n j ok. So, let us look at the product s i j uh, p i j ok uh, ok if you look at this product so you, you can see that i mean uh, this will be equal to i mean ok so here you can see that i j uh, uh, this, this object is just, just a number right this is this is going to be a number because there is no uh, the, the two indices both i and j both are uh, dummy indices 
So uh, now, I mean, uh, I mean, it doesn't matter whether you, what index you use. Instead of S I J S I uh, S I J P I J, you can write S yes, uh, P uh, Q P P Q. Uh, P. I mean, I I don't want P. Say M and N. M and N. Okay, you can use any index. So what I'm going to do, I mean, so what I'm trying to tell you is that. I mean, this since it is a dummy index, you can use any index you want. Okay, so what uh, right now what I'm going to do with this is, I'm, instead of using i, I'm going to use j, and instead of uh, using j, I'm going to use i. So I mean, I can uh, very well use this. This is equal to s j i, s j i p j i. Okay, because uh, the indexes uh, i and j they are they are uh, dummy indices. Okay, now but I know that s uh, Sij is symmetric under the exchange of i and j, and Aij is asymmetric. So I can very well write instead of Sij Sji, I can write this Sij. I can write Sij, and instead of Pji, I can I can write minus. Sorry, uh, it's A, right? I'm, I'm sorry. It's A here, and here also it's A. Uh, instead of uh, Aij, I can uh, Aji, I can use. Uh, ij so it will minus minus aij because a is asymmetric so what i did is sij into aij that is equal to sji aji this i did you, uh, i mean because uh, i and j are dummy indices and then what i did is i used the symmetry property and uh, symmetry property of sij and the asymmetric property of aij to write uh, sji as minus uh, sorry uh, sij as uh, S J I as S I J and A J I as minus A I J. So you can now see that an object S I J A I J which is equal to minus S I J A I J. That means a quantity which is equal to its negative. Okay. So that immediately tells you that that is equal to zero. Okay. So you, here you can see the product of uh, this sort of product with the symmetry, uh, symmetric and asymmetric. If an uh, if an object is symmetric under the exchange of two indices. And, uh, uh, and the, uh, uh, there is another object which is again asymmetric under the exchange of uh, uh, under the exchange of this it's the same indices. If you look at such an object, that is going to be zero. Okay, or I mean, in some, in a some sense, I mean, you can say that the product of an uh, uh, okay, so that's it. This product is zero. All right. So uh, from here, I mean, again, you know that uh, delta J K, which is asymmetric, which is symmetric under the ex exchange of J and K. And here, uh, epsilon i j k, which is a Levi Civita uh, tensor, which is uh, completely anti-symmetric. That means it is uh, under, it is anti-symmetric under the exchange of j and k. So it immediately gives you zero. Okay. So it's a very important uh, th thing to remember. Uh, this thing I will use it again and again. Okay. So uh, you can see that del cross r. So del cross r is del cross r is zero. And we have already seen that del dot a del dot r del dot r is going to be equal to 3 and uh, okay so, so that is it all right uh, gradient of a scalar del phi and you know that gradient of a uh, scalar is a, it's a vector and uh, in your not i into del phi by del x plus j into del phi by del y plus k into del phi by del z or in our notation you can write i into del phi by del x1 i mean i will write it completely j into del phi by uh, del x2 uh, sorry uh, plus k del phi by del, del x3 okay or you can write i into uh, 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 you, you now you can write i mean the component ith component of del phi is it's, uh, it's a vector right del phi whose ith component is if 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 you are uh, for x component that is going to be del phi by del x or equivalently del phi by del x1 or ith component you can write it as del phi by del x i or uh, in our notation it's going to be del i phi okay so the gradient the 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 ith component of the gradient of a scalar which is equal to del i phi okay so uh, this is the gradient all right, and now um, uh, let's uh, look at uh, 
few uh, uh, example i mean identities so we know that gradient of uh, the product of two functions gradient of fg okay and uh, uh, okay so the result i mean you, you, you know you may know the result but let's try to uh, evaluate this result using uh, the, in, uh, the index notation so i mean uh, del of fg f and g both are scalar functions f and g both are both are scalar functions both are scalar functions and so uh, so this is going to be the gradient of fg is going to be a vector quantity and let's talk about the ith component of that del of fg whose ith component that is equal to del i of fg that is equal to i mean here you can see that it is going to be equal to del i of into g plus f into del i of g okay so uh, the, here, del, del i of f, that means it is actually uh, ith component of grad f into g plus f into, this is the ith component of the grade, grad g. Okay. So, you can see that you, what you evaluated here is the uh, ith component of grad of fg, okay, that is equal to uh, del f. Uh, whose ith component into g plus g into del g whose ith component which immediately tells you that del of fg is equal to del f into g plus g into del, uh, f into del g okay this is the result okay which is a very trivial result okay it's a trivial result okay now let us uh, look at And now let us look at uh, gradient of F A, sorry uh, divergence of F A, let us look at divergence of F A and uh, divergence of F A, uh, so F into A where A is a vector vector function, it is a vector quantity, vector function and this is a scalar, F is a scalar, okay. So uh, you know that F, uh, F A if a is a vector quantity f is a, f is a scalar so f a is a naturally it is a vector quantity and del dot f a so it is going to be a number so it is going to be del dot del dot f a is going to be a uh, it is going to be a uh, it is going to be a, a scalar okay so uh, now let us uh, try to evaluate so you know that del dot if you wanted to say del dot a i have already say del dot r when i talk del, del dot a is nothing but del i a i because I, I told you del dot r is del i x i right del i uh, x i so del dot a is nothing but del i a, uh, del i a i so if you uh, if you want to evaluate the divergence of this quantity it's going to be del i of f uh, a whose i component okay okay uh, uh, again I, I say that i del dot a is del i a i okay here you usually del i and then you, you are talking about the ith component of f a okay so this is the thing and now uh, what, what f is a scalar stuff so what, what is the ith component of f a f whose f a is ith component of f a is nothing but f into a i okay so, which immediately tells you that this is equal to del i into del i of f a i. So, which is equal to del i f into a i plus f into del i a i. Okay. So, what is del i f which is the ith component of grad f? a i plus f into what is del i a i it is actually del dot a and what is del f del f i a i so we, we know that a i b i a i b i is what it is a dot b right so del i del f i a i is actually del f dot a 
ok. So, this is equal to del f dot a plus f into del dot a. So, this is actually del dot of f a. del dot of f a. So, now let us find out, now let us find out the curl of f a, del cross f a, ok. And you know that uh, uh, f is a scalar as usual, f is a scalar and a is a vector. So, f a is again a vector, so del cross f a is going to be a vector, ok. So, let us talk about whose ith component whose ith component was going to be equal to, you know that, uh, so it is going to be, you know del cross a whose ith component is equal to epsilon i j k del j a k, del j a k. So, del cross f a whose ith component is, equal, is going to be equal to uh, epsilon i j k del j uh, f a whose kth component, f a whose kth component and that is equal to epsilon i j k and you know that uh, f a whose kth component is nothing but f a k. So, because f a k which is nothing but f into a k, ok. So, this is the case. This, uh, De derivative operator act on both f and a. So, this is equal to epsilon i j k del j f into a k plus epsilon i j k epsilon i j k f into del j of a k all right and that is equal to ok you, you now uh, ok. When you look at uh, this object uh, epsilon i j k uh, into del j a k, this uh, this together if you look at it, it is nothing but uh, that that is going to be the ith component of ith component of uh, ith component of uh, del cross a. So, this is equal to plus f into del cross a whose ith component ok. And here you can see that uh, this del j f is equal to epsilon i j k whose is the jth component of del f into a k, ok. This is the jth component of grad f, ok. Or now you can uh, this now you look at it this is going to be this is actually equal to uh, del j f into a k. Okay. So, this is equal to, uh, uh, this is actually ith component of grad f cross a, who, whose ith component, uh, ah, it is actually uh, yeah, uh, grad f uh, cross a whose ith component plus f into del cross a i. What is this? This is actually equal to uh, curl of F A whose ith component, ok. Or you can write, or you can write del cross F A, this is actually the ith component of del cross F A. That is, uh, so you can write this is equal to. Uh, grad f cross a, grad f cross a plus f into del cross a. This is the uh, expression for del cross f a, ok. This is, this is also, this may also be familiar to you, ok. All right. So, now, now let us uh, evaluate uh, another thing. Uh, 
del cross uh, del f. So, let us evaluate del cross del f. Again, del f is a vector quantity. So, curl of uh, del, del cross del f that, that is going to be equal to, uh, uh, who, I mean, it is a vector quantity. So, always you can talk about the ith component of that. So, uh, so that is going to be equal to del epsilon i j k epsilon i j k del j del f k or this is equal to epsilon i j k uh, del j and del f whose kth component is del k f ok. And uh, now you can see that see if you take uh, if you take any any uh, if you take if suppose you have a function and you know that del by del x uh, del square del x del y is equal to uh, del, del square f del x del y is equal to del square f del y del x del y del x right so this operation i mean the derivative they, they commute each other or uh, the, or, or in this language it means that whether whether the k comes first or j, uh, whichever the derivative uh, whether j or k i mean it's actually symmetric whether you take del j del k or del k del j they, they are going to get you are going to get the same result okay that's what this means or you can say that this object is symmetric this object del j del k is symmetric under the exchange of j and k but uh, here you can see an epsilon i j k uh, because it is totally anti symmetric uh, under the exchange of j and k this is anti symmetric that immediately tells you that this object is zero or whose i component is zero so you can write del cross del f is equal to 0. That means, scale of a uh, gradient of a scalar is always 0. Okay. Now, let us uh, evaluate divergence of a scale of a vector. Uh, del dot del cross a. Okay. And again, uh, del cross a is a vector, but divergence of a vector is a scalar. So, it is a scalar. So, you can write it is actually del i of del cross a del cross a whose i component, but del cross a whose i component is del i uh, del cross a whose i component is epsilon i j k del j a k. Okay, but epsilon i j k these, these are constants. So, I mean I can always take uh, epsilon i j k out epsilon i j k into del i del j of a k. But as I said uh, i and j this, uh, this operator del i del j this is uh, symmetric under the exchange of i and j, but uh, in the epsilon i j k this uh, exchange is going to be anti symmetric. So, the result is 0. So, you can write that del dot del cross a that means the divergence of a square of a vector is always 0. Okay. Now, let us uh, evaluate uh, del dot a cross b, okay. del dot a cross b. So, uh, the, what is this? This is actually uh, del, uh, del dot and that is why it is going to be a scalar. So, you can write del i a cross b whose i component. Okay. So, that is equal to uh, del i of a cross b whose i component is epsilon i j k del uh, a j a j b k or that is equal to the again this epsilon i j k is a constant thing which comes out epsilon i j k into del i of a j b k that is equal to epsilon i j k del i a j into b k plus uh, epsilon i j k into a j del i b k. Now, uh, if you look at uh, okay, this quantity, uh, this quantity you have a del i a j sitting here and now you have uh, this this object epsilon i j k I can write epsilon i j k which is equal to epsilon k i j. 
by exchanging you can see that you just work it out epsilon i j k which is equal to epsilon k i j by proper uh, by two exchanges you can you, you can uh, show that epsilon i j k is nothing but epsilon k i j ok. So, you can write this as epsilon k i j del i a j b k plus uh, uh, you, you can have uh, epsilon i j k ok and uh, this one epsilon i j k which, which you can write is equal to uh, minus epsilon j i k minus epsilon j i k because I exchange, I, I exchange i and j. So, I will get epsilon i j k is equal to minus epsilon j i k into a j del i b k, but epsilon i j j i k uh, epsilon j i k del i b k is nothing but uh, this is the uh, uh, this is the jth component of del cross b ok or you can write this is equal to this is equal to and uh, ok. So, uh, this ah, ok. So, let us look at here first you have epsilon k i j into del i a j this is nothing but kth component of del cross a kth del cross a whose kth component into b k minus uh, here you have uh, the jth component of del a j into a j into uh, del cross b whose jth component ok or you can write that uh, oh sorry so I was looking at del dot a cross b ok, okay that is equal to in del cross a k b k that is nothing but del cross a dot b minus a into a, a dot del cross b a dot and this is the that is a del dot a cross b which is equal to del cross a uh, dot b minus a dot del cross b ok. So, now let us evaluate uh, what is del cross del cross a ok. So, I mean uh, del cross a uh, is of course, uh, it is a uh, a is a vector quantity. So, del cos a is also a vector and if you take so, so for example, you can take this b del cos a as b. So, again this is del cos b right. So, it is a vector quantity. So, you can always talk about uh, so the ith component of that. So, so let us take del cos a as say b and now you can see that del cross del cross a whose ith component is actually equal to del cross b whose ith component ok all right and that is equal to and you know del cross b whose ith component is epsilon i j k and then you will have del j b k. But you know that b is del cross a. So, b k your b k b k is going to be equal to epsilon uh, k some l m uh, del m del l uh, a m ok. So, you can write this as equal to epsilon i j k del j epsilon k l m epsilon k l m del l del l a m ok. So, as I said epsilon i j k epsilon k l m is a constant. So, it will come out of uh, this thing and you can write this as epsilon i j k epsilon k l m del j del l a m ok. And, uh, but you know that epsilon i j k epsilon k l m which is equal to you can write this as epsilon i j k epsilon l m k by uh, I by using the uh, by you can exchange this and you can show that epsilon k l m is equal to epsilon l m k ok. 
and but we know we already know uh, uh, i mean uh, if you have one index uh, index contract i mean you know the result is delta il delta jm minus delta im delta jl this will be the result for that so if once you substitute that you will get uh, del cross del cross a whose ith component is going to be equal to delta il delta jm minus delta im delta jl del j del l del l am okay and that's equal to and you can see that if you multiply uh, if you do delta il into delta l that will become delta i sorry del i delta il into delta l this is l right uh, this delta il so i'll i'll write here delta il into del l del i okay and uh, similarly delta jm into am that is going to be delta uh, jm uh, am is equal to aj or you can write this is equal to del j del i aj uh, del i del j uh, del, del j del i aj minus uh, delta im in am that is going to be ai so you have ai and you have del l delta jl so it will be del j or del j okay so okay so uh, this is equal to and you can see that del, uh, this del j del i aj i can write it as del i del j aj minus del j del j ai okay uh, but uh, you can see that i mean del, del j aj is basically del dot a so it's del i of del dot a del i of del dot a minus del j del j del j del j is uh, del square i will show you what is uh, it is del square of a i i will i will uh, okay one second i will just get back here sure. so just uh, you stop here and i will do this for you del square of a suppose you have a quantity del square of some phi uh, which is equal to del dot del phi okay so in using index notation this is uh, del i del phi i but del phi i you know that it's del i phi so del i del i phi okay so you can say that del i del i is equal to del square you can see that right del square phi is equal to del i del i so or here you have del square so you can write so you can see that this is del cross del cross a whose ith component is del i of del dot a uh, minus del square a i and then del cross del cross a which is going to be equal to see the ith component of uh, some object is del i del dot a then uh, del cross del cross a whose ith component is this minus that so del cross del cross a is going to be equal to gradient of this is equal to grad of del dot a minus del square it is a i right it is one component so when you are talking about the vector it is del square a. So, this is the result. Okay. So I think uh, uh, the I mean we can do uh, many other examples that we will do in the uh, tutorial session. Uh, okay, I think I now I'll move on to the other topic.